a lot of times when we work with Stata, the uh, automatic regression results that it gives us is not very beautiful. And we have to somehow manually or auto manually generate like a table like this that looks publishable and very nice, right? Nicely formatted. And today I'm going to introduce a user generated Stata package called est out. Um, it was developed by Ben Jen that will help you automatically generate a table like this. And it's also um, usable for LaTeX and for um, Excel formats. Okay. And first of all, if you haven't done so, you need to install this est out package because it's a user generated package. It doesn't come automatically together with Stata. So what you need to do is to type ssc install est out replace in your command. And it's checking whether it's already installed. So I'm going to the line here. And then you use this because the way that mm, est out runs is that every time you run a regression like this, it will generate a new table. Even though, so for example, if you restart from line one and it will st still re uh, stall, it will still have in its memory all the previous regressions through est estimation store that you've generated and you've probably you will probably have a really long table and you don't want that so i suggest that before you run est estimation store this command you can use est store clear to clear whatever is already in your memory so why don't we go to this general package and see there are four main commands here and the ones we will be talking about are using our est tab and est store. So first of all, you just type whatever regression. You can have regression here, logit here, ologit, whatever it is. And then plus this part, which tells the est out package what estimates will be stored from this regression table. Okay, and let's run another regression. And then all you need is to run something like this. Actually, this is a lot of com um, complexities that I add to it. If you only run S tab, for instance, you will see a very nice table here. Look, I didn't run this as, as store clear before I retyped these things. So you see, I've done like these table, both of them twice, right? By default, it will give you something like one, two, three, four, and no title, right? And just the number of observations and two notes here. But you might want more information, which is why here I've got something more. For instance, by default, the things in these parentheses is the T statistic. And these um, asterisks tell you about the p-value level. So you might want to instead, at least in sociology and economics, want standard error to be there. This is SE. And you might also want something like an adjusted R-square or other statistics estimating model fit like BIC or AIC, or you might not like this star here, in which case you can do no star. And very nicely, you can add titles to this whole table, maybe title three, this is a regression table. And you can also adjust the name of these models here. So maybe I'll call them model A, model B, 
and you can add notes here. Okay, so let's run this again and see. So I'm gonna comment out this first. Okay, so now notice that there is a strange thing that there's still one and two here. So I might not want that, and I in which case I can add no numbers. Okay, let me run this again. Okay, so this is a pretty nice table here, right? I also added this note. Um, but there's an issue. What we actually usually do is that we want something that will be output into maybe a, a Word document or like an Excel document, right? Or LaTeX. I don't necessarily use LaTeX that much, but um, um, the STL does offer that option. Just go and check their documentation. So what in that case you want to do, for example, in this case for Word, is you have to make sure that you set your working directory and you generate actually a new file and it will automatically write this file for you. So make sure that m1.rtf does not exist yet in your desktop at a time that you're running this command. So for now, I'm going to delete this and it could be named anything. So now if I run this, immediately you see there is an m1.rtf rich text format, right, for Word that's generated. And if you open it, it's nicely there. It's nicely there. And it's seen as a table that you can maybe further work with. In reality, there are other options that you might want. For instance, adding, um, changing variable names to the actual names or adding reference categories and stuff like that. So you can do it through the est out command, although sometimes I actually find it easier just to adjust them yourself after you do that. But you may want to change this name, just change it there. Um, but the formatting thing um, is a big, it, it's a big headache for me, and I find this really useful in that sense. And just in case you prefer, if you prefer an Excel table here, just type CSV, and there you go. Okay, so we've got the table like that. I think it's nicer in Word. Um, the bars and uh, the kind of borders and stuff, right? So um, this is up to your own preference, though. Um, and I hope you benefit from this video, and you will find the text version of this do file in the comments section accompanying this video.